these things that I that I talk about on stream, these these topics that I go on, I know sometimes it just seems like I'm rambling about Republicans and I'm doing et cetera non grata and I'm doing all of this. You know, what what is the purpose of the paradigm shift? What was the original intended result of of what was supposed to happen here? Well, one, I was super impressed by a bunch of the political streamers that I'd already seen and I'd become a little radicalized by them, you know, to push for the left or whatever. What I started to notice especially when I was running for mayor is that I'm just disconnected from all of my thoughts because I'm constantly burying myself in trying to make the best thing trying to make the most comprehensive thing so it catches on quickly and I could feel that endorphin rush of you know oh this video got 400 views this video got 500 views yeah 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 and everybody says you know it's a process you know you got time to go through it you got time to to to, to venture through it but it's like bills need to be paid bills need to be done things need to be set up in a way where i can feel the comfortability to be able to speak about certain things without having the chokehold of wondering if people are actually going to care about what's being said here you just watched me play overwatch for a little bit and if you're on youtube right now you didn't get to see that so i guess i'll start a gaming channel i don't know but it's like all of these things that i, I want to show you all of these things i can't just drop everything and then be like well boom there it is so this topic was supposed to be about why the paradigm shift started. Well, I want to give you a little backstory. I used to be a part of a, of a music scene. Uh, a couple uh, about I started going to shows. I started really caring about live music around the year 2012. This is actually on my birthday, September 10th, 2012, because I started a company. Um, I started a company called Triforce Studios uh, on my birthday with two of my best friends, uh, Danny and Peter. It's crazy because now Danny and Peter are both fathers. <laughs> um, and while I was dealing with, you know, I started doing shows. I started like recording live shows as well as playing them. You know, I was a musician. I was supporting the local bands. I'd be going out to the tours and everything. And one of the things that really, as I've been looking back on my life, I started to realize is that all those years I gave to that music scene kind of didn't do anything for me. A lot of people have this conception that like I was this big high end guy and like, you know, bands couldn't afford me. So like you guys want to know the truth about Triforce and it'll help you in answering the question about the paradigm shift. Um, to date, I have barely made any money from my adventures in the music industry. I have never been invited on a tour to do photography. I have never, I have never um, done a big music video except for the one I did for Crown the Empire. Um, I have my labels and I have my little like, I was on a film set for this and blah, blah, blah. But the music scene as a whole. Now inside of the music scene, there are very specific individuals that have done something for me and i've done something for them there has been a mutual growth there has been a hey this guy's been really cool to me i'm gonna you know give him the the the, the first shout out like hey you could you do this for me there have been people like that sp uh, scattered across but even they you know they don't have the resources to continue that going you know they don't have the the pull to be like that guy should be here that guy should be here so i kind of got lost in the shuffle and a lot of people just blasted ahead of me and i never understood what it was about because a lot of my fame a lot of the reasons why people know me or as many people know me as they, as it is is because of my photos and videos and even then i remember i did this documentary for uh my friend's show fam fest and i remember it took me so long to edit it and I wanted to do it faster than this other guy that was doing a documentary because I, everyone was like, oh, you're going to do it? How much is it going to cost? And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to show up and I'm just going to do it for free for the love of the music. And I remember saying, if you'd like to donate, because I had just got scammed out of a lot of money. If you'd like to donate, please donate. And do you know how much money people donated? zero fucking dollars as a matter of fact for every single band i have ever shot in my entire life a lead from that shoot has never led to another job i used to charge ten dollars to to film a set and where i live it cost or it was starting to cost 250 to take the train so i would take the train ride for an hour go shoot the show which means i had to be there for the entire show up until the band that was hiring me was playing shoot the show go home edit 
and then deliver it to them and I only made five bucks and usually I would have to eat you know so uh, out of that five dollars I might have spent four on a sh four on a sandwich and a dollar on a drink I made no money and I was working for two to three hours on editing as well as traveling and spending four to five hours at a show and people used to say all the time you know just put in the work you'll get recognized just put in the work just put in the work and it's crazy because like I did put in the work and then the pandemic hit and all these bands started getting up to do all these different shows and you know well, we're coming back to new york city we can't wait to see nobody even thought to message me Are you sure you're okay, nobody even thought to, to to ask if i was available and that made me think maybe my popularity shot down you know maybe people don't like me now because i'm a political demon you know i'm a i'm a political blah, 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 blah. and it, it 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 hurts to go forward because I mean, you know i was just talking about this on on the stream with um with the q pong as a content creator now or as someone who wants to see content creation uh bear some fruit the ability to be able to keep going forward kind of relies on a freelancing experience so when mental health gets in the way or 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 life gets in the way or an event goes on you kind of depend on all those connects you've made and all those contacts you've tried to keep in contact with to keep that moving forward because you want to be in a better space i don't want to be slogging away at a fucking office desk clicking away for eight hours a day and then go home and then say all right it's time to work on my mental trauma and actually put together the pieces of how i'm supposed to become as an adult i can't do that so i do this i love the art i love the form i love the groove i love the jo the joy of being able to bring smiles to people's faces and have the stream grow so that way I can have a chat full of people here saying yeah I'm having an emotional epiphany listening to you like I fuck with the vibes and I hit it and I, but personally I always cannot let my audience know that like yo I may be making you feel better but I still feel like garbage because I feel like when we connect like that like there's, there's something deeper I don't want to be that streamer that sits on the fucking thing and 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 tells you hey guys what's up you know we're having a great day today you know today's gonna be a little bit of a lazy day I've had some times I've had some I've had some pains I've had some journeys that I've had to go through that I can't deal with right now and the only reason I'm streaming is because I don't want to do something bad to myself I'm using this as an escape from my reality the music hitting I know It's this constant struggle that I consistently go through. And as much advice as I as I hear, as much as, you know, I make content about the my paradigm hasn't shifted yet. And there, from all of that, just that little segment of my life was born this channel. Was born this this attempt to say, you don't live in the hood. You don't live in a place where you're seeing my people suffering. You don't understand what it's like to be a poor person living in the hood, having to make decisions based on survival instincts and not what you want to do on the weekend. I'm sorry I can't go hang out with you. I got to pick up two extra shifts so that way I got a little bit of extra money so that way I don't feel like the bills are pressing me the next day, the next month, the next year. And when I thought about that, and I was listening to all these people talking and all these white spaces and all these all these all these these opinions being thrown left and right and people talk or shit to one another and all this and that. It's like I used to tell people a lot. I don't think that I'm right. I don't think that I'm super smart. I don't think that I'm better than you. I just don't open my mouth unless I'm 100% certain of what I'm talking about. And nobody's talking about the things that I wish people were talking about. I started watching black creators a couple months ago more he heavily and more intensely than I ever have because I wanted to connect back to my space because I'm living in, you know, Hassan Piker's world and I'm living in Vosh's world and I'm living in all these other people who like are so disconnected and got the fame and are just running in it's like talk about the things that matter to people because yes politics and discussing the nuances of them are important but how does that affect people on a day-to-day -day basis people out here don't give a shit about who president the hood look the same one way or another and nobody's fighting for that nobody's fighting to change that nobody's fighting for a different way to view the world so maybe that way we won't be that much angrier at one another the next day or the day after that maybe we can find some civility or peace or a common thread a line of thought and it scares me that people aren't willing to do that because they'd have to admit that they were wrong at some point. 
And I understand what that fear of being wrong is because it's a challenge of yourself. It's a challenge of your ideals and your identity to force yourself into a box that makes you feel comfortable in whatever you create and whatever you live for and whatever you believe. But once you open that box, the world's much different and I just need us to find a common fucking line. A common thread, something that makes this easier. So yeah, sometimes I gotta be like, yo, throw me a sub because it's like how I eat. But I don't wanna make this shit. It like, it, I don't wanna do this if that's how it's gonna be. I want you to watch this channel because you like what you see. That you agree or disagree, but you know I'm not bullshitting you. I feel like a lot of the content that I watch is a bunch of bullshit. Like, I got my, my, my comedy people, I got my Kane Carters, my RDC world, uh, I got my, you know, I got my, I got my, my breath of things that I consume and I, I exist within the capitalist machine. But like, at the same time, it's just scary that I noticed there was a gap in how people are supposed to understand what's being said about certain topics, certain social issues, things that we don't dive deeper into. It's a bunch of gaslighting and then it's a bunch of shit talking and there's a bunch of shit posting. Hell, we got senators and politicians, we got politicians shit posting. What fucking timeline is this? So I said, let's bring it all down, down to one singular point. What is the common thread that we all have to agree on? And it's that every human being starts out peaceful. And if every human being starts out peaceful, then there had to have been a point where things got bad for them. If they're gonna act evil, if they're gonna, if they're gonna poison the well, if I can find out when that point was, maybe I can shift that too. Paradigm shift, baby. So that's why this channel exists. And that's why I'm here. And I hope that you enjoy your stay as well.